everyone, welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with this big, big, big gallery wrapped canvas. Um, it's 76 by 600 um, centimetres. So I'm not sure what that is in the inches or however. But anyway, it's, it's a 76 by 76 by 60 so it's a big canvas it was one that I'd previously painted over I'd even varnished it and had it hanging on my wall for a oh, good 18 months decided no I don't like that anymore um, and so what I did was I came along and I wiped give it a real good wipe over with just a damp soapy cloth and then wiped it over with a clear you know clean cloth and then I done the black gesso over the top as my kind of undercoat I have given it two coats but it's not fully covered so this will be the test to see if a painting that's been fully finished and varnished can actually be repainted so um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna do a lot of negative space negative space uh, you've heard me right you know that I'm not one for uh, leaving much negative space I get carried away as I just love what I'm doing but anyway um, so it will be a test to see if this cracks or not and of course I hope not because it was a nice deep gallery gallery wrapped canvas so it was an expensive canvas so I'm trying to repurpose it so that's what I coated over it was the gesso and I'm going to work on it from here put my color up here and down just because trying to keep it all in the frame of this particular um, camera setting you know I'm trying to keep it all in the frame so bear with me guys what I'm going to do for my particular base, because this is black, I don't want to go just black, so I've made up some of my custom navy, which is phalo blue, a good blob of black, and a good blob of really darkest green you've got, and then it makes this wonderful navy colour. I've also added a good blob of silver metallic, just because it gives it this glistening effect in the actual paint so without further ado I'm going to just give it first coat of this actually I can thin this down I can see straight away I don't need it that thick just to um, use it as my base coat for my other paints to slide over so I've just added just water only my pouring medium is in the drop down box underneath in the description so if anybody is wanting to know that that's where you'll find it so I'll just go over with my I use my um, offset spatula it's just the big icing spatula but because this is such a, a big canvas this is going to be the quickest way I can do it I'm not too worried about the sides because I can go over with the navy at the end or after what is that it's got a gooby in it. Yeah, go away. Hop off, hop off, hop off the scene. So I'll just try and speed this bit up for you, the boring bits. So with the black underneath, at least you're not having any sort of white canvas show through. So easy. So there you go, there's the prep. Now, onto the colour. Have I got some colour that's gonna make this pop? pop your socks I'll tell you it is gonna pop your socks I have used today different paints I've used some PBO PBO and I've used some burrows that I have sitting here for ages but it got this fluoro fluorescent magenta and I had a fluoro orange so I've used these paints and I'll just tell you the colours as I go along. Pouring mediums in the drop down box. So let's get to it. This is going to be a kind of a magical nighttime garden theme. So bear with me people because it's 
and put your sunglasses on for the ride because the colours are going to pop. This is stunning from PBO. It's um, it's like it's definitely a metallic. What's the colour? PBO, PBO. I can't find my colour because I've got so much paint over it. But it's like a. Oh, I can't find it. But it's a beautiful green. <laughs> it's a beautiful green. So let's get to it. Do I want to put some? No. Okay. I'm going to do it from about this area. So do your nice swirls now. This is your therapeutic part, just taking your time, just concentrating and thinking about what you're doing and enjoying it. So this is your therapy, your art therapy. So this colour just looks stunning with that navy, absolutely beautiful. So probably put way too much on but that's absolutely fine and now I'm going to the tangerine colour which is a really a, an orange a bit brighter so stunning colours love them just all nice swirls just get lost in the moment and enjoy that's what I say it's so therapeutic this kind of art as is most art I suppose as you yeah, throw in the stuff at the canvas but then that could be very therapeutic because I uh, could get all your frustrations out so this is the fluoro magenta so these colors are gonna pop pop your socks off oh I've got all stuff all over me at least it's I've got my um, apron on today oh look at this wowzers trousers my gosh so even the people that don't like much colour on the canvas, this is not too bad because it's only going to be at one end, kind of, kind of, sort of, at one end, if you get what I mean. <laughs> okay, wowzers. Um, ooh, now some of the um, turquoise in there. A little bit, not too much. That was the uh, opaque cad minimum, minimum yellow, cad minimum, minimum. You know what I'm talking about. It's that kind of yellow. So, without further ado, I'll just give a sprinkling of this very delicious, which is what I make up myself out of the magenta or very dark red. Add a blob of um, phthalo blue and then a blob of black if you want it to go even darker so i've got a bit of everything because this is my nighttime garden i did a spring garden a few weeks back um, that i had really good feedback on you quite liked it so i thought why not another one to go with the other one now this is white actually that's very thick that this is white but it's only mixed with Floetrol this particular one um, I just find I get the lovely lacing from mixing the paint just with Floetrol alone and not any of my glue pouring medium so i um, been doing a, a bit of this and a bit of that so just put some of this in here So as you can see, it is going to be bright up the top. It is going to be gorgeous. It's quite a bit of paint on there and I will tilt off just over the edge and backwards. So let's just do this nice and slow. Let's tilt it back. 
I'm not sure if it's all in the frame but I'm sorry about that because it's such a large canvas and I have not got a great big tall tripod or when I put it on a box it seems to get knocked over just just giving it a good tilt so those paints roll over each other and I think that's the kind of key to it because a lot of people say I don't know how your colors don't go muddy what you put down but you keep them that little bit thicker and you roll them over each other and oh there you go there's the gecko saying he's, he's second in that yes that's what you do all right so yeah this is a bit heavy now when it's got some paint on it so I couldn't imagine how heavy it would have got if I'd have um, done the whole canvas in colour. better. Okie doke. Wow. Let's see what we've got now. I am going to pour a bit more of the white in just on the edge with the colour. I'm going to get my mini blower because I want some um, or I might actually get the dryer It'll probably blow it too far, but we'll give it a go, see how it works. So all I'm going to do, because if I want it any further, I'll just use my straw, because otherwise I'll get too carried away and have no, um, what you call it, no negative space. Gonna get over there. Holy dooly. That's not good. Might have to use my little um, mini blower to get to blow. I don't want too much going on there. So that's actually perfect 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 keep with me people keep with me <laughs> i am trying to get there okie doke right now what's she doing you say what's she doing i'm gonna do this here i'm gonna do my white line because i want to swipe so i will use my um, I'm going to use my whole um, soft plastic file divider because this is such a long one I'm not going to do it in bits the soft plastic file divider absolutely perfect for swiping because oops you can um, oh I haven't got it all in the white I should have done a straighter line but that absolutely doesn't matter because there's more to come, a lot more going to happen with this particular piece as yet, so I will put a bit more, a bit more paint in a bit of a straight line I think. Oh, now I went overboard, I'm overboard with that, but that's absolutely fine. There's nothing really you can't fix. Everything is fixable. As in life, it may not be exactly as you want it when you fix it, but it can be fixed. So, a lesson in life, 
Okie doke, where's my little pieces? I'll just use my little piece down that edge. Beautiful. A little piece here. All these colours will come up again pretty soon. Pretty sure. Keep with it. Anybody can do this. You do not have to be an artiste. You just have to um, want to create and enjoy. There's no set rules to it. Got paint all over me. But that's fine. Absolutely fine. Fine, fine, fine. So, now I'll give it a bit of heat off my heat gun. I don't, I'm not use very, I don't use very often butane. I just find the heat embossing gun. My magic wand, wonder wand. Um, perfect. I am covered in paint. I don't know where it's all coming from. Anyway. Let's go over it. I'm going to do some of the little um, Aussie card slides through it. I've got some, um, I have some turquoise here and this paint is, this is Amsterdam paint but I think you can use any paint. This is uh, mixed only with Floetrol so I just want to do some um, Aussie slides through it so. Oh. I've got to bring you down to see the lacing that this creates. It's unbelievable. So it just adds some wispy, whimsical effects. Just dipping the dipping the card into the just paint and flow troll, nothing else. And it really creates an absolute storm of cells. La well, it's laciness. It's lovely lace. Oh gosh, I'm going to mix the other colour in there now. Silly Julie, never mind. Just go with it, hey. Just go with it. Do the other side. This is here. I'm just going to try a piece of the plastic. I prefer the actual card to the cards than the plastic to do these slides. So I'm just. I just find you've got a little bit more control over the card. Come on, I want a big one. I wanted a big one up the top. But that's gorgeous. Oh, when I show you close up, you'll see what I'm doing my nana about because it's so beautiful. So there's a bit of a bigger one. I'm going to finish with the turquoise and I'm going to just do a few more in the white. Put in my float trial. This is the white, so I'm gonna. Ooh, ah, that's having that too far over there, but that's okay. That's given a nice effect. I quite like it. That'll lace up just the same. Or will it? Is it? It's not actually lacing up the same. See, this white is Montmartre and float trial. So there you go. It's not actually doing the same. As using the Amsterdam and flow troll I thought that it would but there you go well that's a perfect test no the, the Montmartre isn't lacing up like the uh, Amsterdam the Amsterdam has got the um, ability to really lace up but it's good having a contrast in here what I'm doing Okay, just bear with me. It's still, still got a lot to um, come along with just yet. So please, please, please bear with me. Oh, of course, my gorgeous balloon. Um, I probably would have liked to start with a bit bigger balloon, but that's absolutely fine. I'm gonna go for it with this one. Go you good thing. Ooh, that's took it right down. See, look at this. Oh my goodness. And there we go, further up. So it can give some uh, flower effect. I'm gonna push my balloon in some of the drips off the side. Give some really whimsical effects. It doesn't, you know, it's not 
over the top. Just wiping your balloon off if you don't, you know, because you, I don't want to put them all up there. Just wiping your balloon off in between every second kiss. So the paint is the thinnest there, it's all the paint is down here, but I'll be working down to that bit, obviously, as I go. When I bring you down for the close-ups, it's when you'll really see the magic that's going on in here. Okay, I want to put some... Ooh. Not too many, but... But just... Um, just right. I believe I definitely need to walk away and leave my canvas for a little while because you see what's happening the paint's falling in very quickly you can push on and just keep pushing in the same spot but if I walk away and let this paint dry off for a, a little while um, I'll get so much nicer effects in there so she said and she still pushes on so I'm gonna just leave this for 20 minutes I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and then I'll come back I'll come back and I've given it just a few more balloon rolls and um, off the edge and I where I push the balloon in I give these lovely little twizzles I just thought oh this might be a nice effect other than the balloon but if I'm not 100% satisfied with them I'll just go back over with the balloon but I just give the um, give my little balloon yeah, it's still quite a lot of paint sitting up here, but I'm happy with that and I'm quite happy with how it, this has turned out. So I'm just pushing the little balloon into those twizzles and seeing what I get, which is a nice little effect there. So quite happy with that. Happy to leave it like that. Happy Jan. So with the rolls, you just, okay, where can I show you that you're, is just basically rolling it off over the edge you will get used to the balloon work I know somebody said I just make it go mud but keep wiping your balloon if in between every uh, balloon kiss because then that will assure that you're wiping off any of the previous paint that's more than likely to make it go like mud but um, I am gonna leave it there and then obviously I'm gonna let it dry and I will show you the dried photos at the end if I push on with it a little bit further it'll just be to do some more doodling in it noodling doodling whatever you call it jillifying it but I'm just really lovely I'm just really happy with this pop of color up here and the whole navy thing going on down there so if you want to uh, define the flower kisses a bit more the balloon kisses just run some of the darker color that you know the navy down so it separates them to make them look a bit more like petals you know because you're separating them but yet yeah, it's, it's beginning to dry a bit too much up that end where the paint is um, obviously thinner but I'm very happy with that I'm happy Jen it's a bright uplifting and I'm gonna bring you down for a close-up now Okie doke. Okay, here we go. Look, this is what the balloon slide, uh, the balloon slide, the card slide create with the flow troll. Just paint and flow troll, but it was only the Amsterdam because I'll show you the white is here. I've got no cells with the white and flow troll, but with the turquoise and flow troll, I've got this. What I should do is try to put some of the Boom Booster and try the Boom Booster with the white, which I suppose I still could do. Now, I'll save it for another another day. I'm trying to uh, fit too much into this because this was quite a big one and I don't want it to be any longer.
some photos of it when it's dry. So thank you so much for joining me again on this crazy art journey. Um, stay safe, people. Uh, appreciate you all and your lovely comments. So until tomorrow, bye for now. <laughs>